مرحبا يا شباب hello guys and girls welcome to part 10 in the last part we we used pioneer I mean we just set up uh, our task store in pioneer um, to later save tasks that we want to edit and the select the task type the menu items on the website so but in this tutorial we will create another composable so we can close all of this close all tabs go to composables package say new typescript file and we will call it use task navigation okay a new function we will define a new function which will be available in the whole app so export function use task navigation okay parentheses curly braces and we will now use our task store from the pioneer task store that we created in the last video let's say task store equals use task store okay okay that looks great now we want to handle when uh, on the on the website if a menu item like open task close task all task is clicked so let's say const handle uh, task type selected Uh, now equals parentheses task type type string this method will return nothing so let's declare it as void and equal great sign curly braces so and we will use a switch statement in here in, instead of multiple if else else if statements switch task type now in case open task got selected what we're going to do is say task store select the task type equals task state uh, task state open we'll save the string like this okay and we'll say of course break and else what can we do else we we'll do the same thing uh just duplicate the lines and we use of course closed tasks and we say closed tasks in here ah sorry just closed and in case for I mean basically not not sure if you can use else here but uh, the other case would be yes all tasks mm -hmm. task store select task type set it to empty string say on break okay now after this what we are going to do is we'll navigate to the task view to the select task view and let's 
create a new method, navigate to tasks queue and say create a new method, create function. Okay. This method just I would put it below. Here we'll define what we are going to define. Uh, just make it a const so we can use the a little bit sh uh, syntax highlighting as syntax sugaring. Um, say here equals parentheses. Say void equal great design. And here we use the router. Where is the router? Here's the router. And we say replace. Replace the current view with the home view. Okay. Name and this is home view. Okay, this looks good. And to avoid any warnings, we just put the then at the end and that's it. Otherwise, we will also have when a logo got clicked, we also want to um, go to the home view. So define this in here. Logo clicked equals again parentheses colon void equals sign greater sign and curly braces. When the logo got clicked, basically we want to go to a home view, to a home page. I would say we, our home page is basically the, all the open tasks. And wait a second, task store. Select the task type. Uh, okay, that's a task state. Basically, we can copy this in here. Just wait a second. Okay. And then we say we can copy this line. Looks good. Basically, when a logo got clicked, we want to go to the home view, to the op all the open tasks. And this is what we do here. And we define also the selected task type open is currently selected. And now we have to return everything. Just say return curly braces. We can return multiple things. Uh, handle task type selected. Navigate to tasks view and we can say logo clicked. And as you can see right now, we are finished. So let me just iterate what we are going to do here. Sorry, <laughs> I had to let just let my cat in the room. Um, uh, okay, let me just iterate again what we did here. We just um, created another composable function um, because we will use this in multiple components or pages. And we are saving the handle task type of the user if he cl uh, clicked on open task, close task, and we will store it in Pioneer to cache the, the, the um, the user selection and then of course we'll go to the home view screen and yeah and then also we have a method like here for logo click that the user go, should go when he clicks on the logo to the all the open task this is basically our home screen and yeah, that's basically it. And at the end, we are returning everything. And this is why we have defined like this const values always, because you can so, so in TypeScript return multiple constants, multiple objects. Uh, 
yeah, this is how we did things. And yeah, so this was part 10. And catch me in the next one to part 11. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So see you in the next video. Masalam, ya shabab.